Hey gamers, this is Uday Kathak from Fusion Tricks. In this video, we are going to see how to make real-time database with a REST API. First, we create a empty game project, Firebase REST. Now click on create. This will take a while to complete. Now click on asset store. Wait until the asset store get loaded. Now search for REST API. Now select the REST client for Unity. And click add and click download and click import. This will take a while to complete. Now open Chrome and go to Firebase console. Now click on add project. Now enter your project name as Firebase. Fire. Now click on continue. Now select default account for Firebase and click create project. Now click on continue. Now click on real time database. Now click create database. Now click next. And click start in test mode and click enable. Now back in Unity, click on Scenes. Now right click on a Haraki and create a empty game object. And click on Add Component. And we need to create a new script named Database. Now click on New Script and click Create and Add. Now double click to open the script. Now add a namespace using Procato twenty six. Now add public string data base database underscore URL equal to now back in unity click on project right click on project to create a new C sharp script and name it as user now double click to open it in visual studio now clear mono behavior and clear these functions. Now add public string user username and add public string email. Now save it and go back into database script. Now create a function public void save data. Now add user user equal to new user add this outs. Now add rest client dot post 
add database url comma plus slash now add using unity engine.ui now add serialize field input field username and add another serialize field input field email now add user dot username equal to username dot text and add user dot email equal to email dot text now add user name dot text now add plus double quotation dot json comma user now save it and go back into unity now right click on hierarchy click on ui input field now adjust the input field according to your preferences now rename the input field as username Now duplicate the input field and rename it as email. Now click on UI button. And rename it as save. Now click select our game object and drag and drop our input field. Now select our button and click on on click and select our game object and select our function. To get the database URL go back into firebase and, and copy the URL and paste it. Now let's test it by running it. Let's give a dummy username and email address. Now go back into Firebase console and boom. Now new data is added to the Firebase console. To read data from the Firebase real-time database, create a public void read data function. Now add rest client dot get user. Database URL plus slash plus. Now create a serialized field input field. Name to read. Now add a name dot text plus dot json. Dot then response user equal to response. Now change the small user equal to capital user. Now add debug.log user dot username. Now add another debug.log user dot email. Now 
Now save it and go back into Unity. Now duplicate the input field and create an another button and rename it as read. Now select our game object under drag and drop our name input field and select our read read button and add our function to it. Now let's test it by running it. Now enter the name to read. Boom! Now we can able to read and upload data from Firebase real-time database using REST API. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Fusionplex for more tutorial about Unity. If you like this video, smash the subscribe button and hit the notification icon and share it with your friends. I will see you in the next awesome tutorial.